Hello, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to come on because I've not been around for a bit and I wanted to apologise and say I'm fine. A few people have asked if I'm okay. Yes, I'm fine, but unfortunately we have had a bit of a nasty time and um, we lost our little cat, Tom. So yeah, I've just been a bit not really feeling like doing my crafts and yeah, not being very chatty. I've been feeling a bit lost, to be honest, without him. So, yeah, just a bit of a sad time at the moment. Um, I didn't want to bring anybody else down with us. It's Christmas time and everyone's had a bad year, so everyone needs to have a good time. So, yeah, I just wanted to stay away and just let you enjoy the lead up to Christmas, if you could. So I hope you are well and enjoying this time. Um, yeah, unfortunately Tom was about 15 and he got ill quite quickly so it was a bit of a shock. It was actually, he wasn't producing red blood cells and before we could actually treat that, although the vet didn't think he probably could be treated because of his age. So yeah, I don't want to dwell on that, I want to move on. As I say, I don't want to bring you down <laughs> with me. But um, I just wanted to mention it, just so you knew. So, yeah, so just... Otherwise, if I'd... You would have wondered why I'd been away, or if you, even if you hadn't, if i come on and you thought, she's not herself, you'd be wondering why, and that's why. So, yeah, that is why. But I'm back. <laughs> so I haven't got much to show you, but I thought I would just update you tell you what I'm planning on doing next week. Boris has cancelled Christmas, so we'll have plenty of time. It's just been me and Gary here. Mum and Brian were going to come over for Christmas, but they've decided that they do feel a bit at risk. So they have decided they're not gonna come. So we're gonna do Christmas with them at a different time. So it's just gonna be us. So it's gonna be a quiet Christmas. So I'm gonna have plenty of time for my crafts. So, when you left me before, well, when I left you before, <laughs> I was working on, oh, everything's going to go flying. So, um, I was working on Santa's Secret, and it's a Dimensions kit. And so this was a new start, and I haven't got much more finished on him. I'm just starting another eye. Oh, he's got his nose there. So, um, yeah, sorry if you find him sinister. I bet this looks quite sinister, doesn't it? But I do really enjoy working on him. And I've decided that I'm going to carry on working on him for a bit longer. Because after Christmas, well, by the time New Year comes, I'm not going to want to work on Christmas. So I thought I'm going to get some more stitches in him. Definitely want to get his eye and perhaps start doing his beard or eyebrows or something. So yeah, I'm going to, definitely going to carry on with him over the next few days. And then I wanted to carry on. Well, on Christmas Day, I fancied getting out my Christmas pudding. I'm going to be eating my Christmas pudding, even though the French are trying to stop us getting our food. <laughs> If you don't know about that, the lorries are all backed up and yeah, it's horrendous, but I think they're starting to um, get vaccinated and they're going to be coming back in now, but I don't know. I feel so sorry for the lorry drivers. You imagine, do you think of how it feels to be in a traffic jam for a while? They've been there for like two days, bless them. So yeah. I have nothing to complain about because a lot of people are going through a lot of stuff at the moment. I'm just going to ramble. This is going to be a ramble because my head's all over the place, sorry. So back to Christmas pudding. So this was in the Cross Stitcher magazine a couple of months ago. And so it's a relatively new start and I've lost my Christmas pudding. please. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> so this is how it's looking at the moment. So I have got quite a bit done on that. So I want to work on that on Christmas Day and perhaps Boxing Day as well, because that's when I'll be eating Christmas pudding 
with lashings of brandy sauce. So that is that one. So I'm looking forward to getting back to that one. And then the third one I want to work on over the Christmas break is oops, my new Mirabilia and that is what is it? Christmas in London. <laughs> so this is how it's going to look eventually. Sorry, some glare there. So Christmas in London by Mirabilia. And all I have so far is a stocking. And then this is her dress. So I would like to work on her dress a bit more. And um, yeah, just so... That is a little bit of skin there, so I would like to go up so I can actually see who she is. So that will be being worked on as well. So those are my three that I've pulled out for between Christmas and New Year. Today is Wednesday the 23rd. <laughs> um, I'm going to pop over to see my dad to take his birthday um, card over next week uh next week <laughs> do you know if you knew this was going to be a bad idea i'm going to pop over to see my dad tomorrow it's his birthday and um so that'll be part of the day but the rest of the day i'm going to be free gary's going to be working for most of the day on christmas eve so yeah i shall, should have some stitching time tomorrow so i'll probably get my mirabilia out tomorrow and have try and have a couple of hours session on her then so yeah that is my plan up until New Year. So I also, so the videos that I want to make coming up for next year is I want to do a review of this year. So I have already taken a look at my um, video with all my projects from the start of the year. I think it was about February, March time because I'd started this channel then. So um, all the projects I had then, so it's like what happened to them. Are they finished? What happened? So I want to do that video and I'll also do a plans video for next year separately and how far I got on with those. So yeah, so I will be back and hopefully my head will be in a better state and yeah, it won't be so... <laughs> I shall be fine. I shall have a glass of Prosecco and everything will just, yeah. I just, yeah. It, I've never lived in this house since I, he was 15 and I've lived here for about 14 years. And it just seems so strange not to have my little shadow with me. But yeah, I was lucky to have him in my life for that amount of time. And yeah just look forward to the future unfortunately won't be having be able to have another cat because as you might know we have a property in spain that we want to go out to quite a lot next year if we can brexit covid <laughs> but yeah um we were worried about what we we're going to do with tom and um my mum was going to foster him if we were out there for quite a long time so i was a bit worried about that anxious so yeah that's not going to be an issue now unfortunately if we only knew what was coming up so yeah sorry this hasn't been all cheerful i have my other christmas jumper on. so i'm trying to be festive we are going to have a good time i hope you have a lovely christmas and you get some stitching in and see the people you want to see so i shall see you in about a week's time and we shall do a little review of the year just in the stitching because we don't want to know about the rest of the things that went on last this year <laughs> so take care have a lovely christmas and i'll see you again very soon bye for now